vlog. What am I thinking? Ah! Well, it's a vlog. I'm sure you want to know what it's about, and here is what it's about. That bag is right there. That bag I just showed you is called a silk, a silk sari hobo purse. And I got the pattern and I got the yarn from darngoodyarn.com. Go check it. Go check that site out. Nicole is wonderful. <laughs> we both have the same name. How cool is that? But no, seriously, go check her out. She is over at, like I said, darngoodyarn.com. She de deals in fair trade yarn. It's silk sari yarn. Banana silk, I'm not really sure on it. The product I used was Silk Sari Yarn. And let me tell you, it feels fabulous, honey. Just fabulous to work with. I love it. Her prices are amazingly great. Recommend it to anybody. This was the first time that I used something that wasn't a acrylic or a cotton yarn. I fell in love with it, loved how it moved right through my hand and made that back. And in the pictures I'm going to show you, I did alter it a little bit when it came to the lining. I didn't use a t-shirt, I did go out and buy some fabric and I sewed the lining in, but I added a pocket to mine. I at least like one pocket in my back. Other than that, I love it. In fact, I just ordered from Darn Good Yarn the other day. I think I ordered like four or five balls of yarn. I can't wait to get them, but go check your site out. It's awesome. And thanks again, Nicole. I love the pattern and I love the bag. I'm going to do business with you again and again. Oh, and one more thing. In my pictures you're going to see, I did use what was left of my silk sour yarn to make a little pouch or a little bag, like to put pens, um, whatever you want to put in it. I used it up and then I did have to use the crochet cotton by Sugar by Lily Sugar and Cream. I did use that to finish it up because I ran out of my silk sour yarn, but I wanted to use it up. And I must say, it is great. I did add a little something to it, so hope you enjoy. Bye. Oh, one more thing you're going to notice in one of my pictures. The purse is so long on me, it goes down to my thigh. I am trying to think of a way currently to take it up to make the strap shorter, the strap shorter for me. I followed the directions, but somehow I made me. So, I'm thinking on the handles, maybe bunch them up a little bit and get like some vintage pins and put in there. I mean, because I can use the purse for anything if I'm going out overnight and I want to put clothes in there or if I'm going to the beach and I need a bag just to grab. Stuff in. So I'm kind of wanting to take it up a little bit. Maybe go to one of the vintage stores here in town and find some pins and pin it up and make it shorter for me. I mean, it's fabulous. I love how it can be versatile. I just got the idea when I put it on my shoulder and I'm like, hmm, a little too long, but. It shortened it up with some awesome vintage pins, which really, really look cool with the bag. I want it though, I want to go with the Indian theme of it since it's silk sari yarn and it's imported from India. I want to find some East meets West vintage pins to go with it, which I think would look awesome. And if anybody has ideas of what kind, feel free to comment. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.